Okay, so in this demo, we're going to go through brush care. It is one of the most valuable tools that we use at our stations when providing services for our clients. We make a great investment in our brush choice, so you want to take care of your investment. This is one of the most important tools you're going to use. So of course, by now, we all know that when we receive our brushes, they usually come with a piece of plastic sealed around them, and they have the Arabic gum. When that brush comes, it's usually very hard to move because of the Arabic gum. So you want to press that out, soften the brush, and then you want to take a lint-free pad and roll until you get that out. I like to call it little dandruff. Now, after that, you want to take clean liquid and you want to take a clean lint-free pad and you just want to wipe that brush out gently and just pull through to make sure nothing else is stored in that brush. Please, please, and please again, throw away the plastic tubing that comes on your brush. If not, this is what will happen. You will store this back into your brush. It will stick and it will melt. In most cases, it will ruin your brush. We happen to catch this one quickly just for the purpose of this demo. After use with your brush on a regular basis, you want to clean your brush with the liquid. So after your final application, take the liquid, clean your brush out, wipe it again on a lint-free pad. Sometimes product gets stuck in the brush. You will need to take an orange wood stick and just gently slide through to clean out anything that may be left in that brush. If your brush company happens to make a brush cleaner, then you should use the brush cleaner. Otherwise, you should use the liquid because that's what was intended by that manufacturer. Finally, another most important part of brush care is properly storing. You don't want to set your brushes up as commonly done in salons. We stick them in our lamps, we put them in containers, they sit on our stations. They become a magnet for dust. You don't want to have that because that dust, along with the liquid that sits in the ferrules of the brush, will lead to contamination. So if this is your clean jar of liquid for your service, if you've ever noticed when you wipe your brush off, you see yellow spots. That yellow means it's time to throw away your brush. The brush has been contaminated. So store the brush properly, clean it. If you have a brush that comes with a case, it's great because it's an easy way to seal it. You can lay it in your drawer and push it away. Another option is a brush case. You can take a plastic eyedropper, cut the tubing and use the big side of the eyedropper to store the brush. But you wanna make sure that the brush hairs are protected and it should lay flat at all times. And that is our lesson on brush maintenance, the most valuable tool in your business.